the legal team, Geek Sensei, Street, Raven, Sam, Mr. Blitzstick. You three man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You man about that. We are live, guys. I'm J1 Further the Cybernerds. Raven your GS. Sam, Mr. Blitzstick. And welcome to the Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater announcement trailer on PS5. Only! <coughs> If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. This is the TCN Gaming channel. Hit the thumbs up and press the notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything that's dropping from the PlayStation Showcase and more. And now today, we've got something special, something that no one was ready for. No one no, no one thought was going to get announced today. The Me not me. Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> Delta, Snake Eater, the remake. Yeah, I just want everyone to take a second to to take it in. Yeah, Metal Gear's back, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> yeah, but Kojima's not involved. I... He's uh, not. Have you got something to say on that? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's not involved. So it's not a Kojima production. It's oh, magic, though. See, see, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Metal Gear. Draw him out, draw him out. But we ain't got. But we ain't got the. We ain't got the Kojima production. So jump in the comment section below and let us know what that means for you. What does that mean for you? Uh, what does that mean for you? For me, it don't mean anything. Don't mean no. Don't mean that. But for said next man, all right, it's a different kind of conversation that needs to be had. I hear that. Saying? All I will say is I'm here for Solid Snake. Me personally. The man, the myth, the legend, Solid Snake. Mr. Blitztech, I know we've discussed it before, but what does it mean for you? That my backlog is a little bit lighter. You see how he just... I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Sam, bro, Sam's got his dancing shoes on today and he's side stepping in the name of love, bro. He's stepping in the name of love. I'm ready to bring out the popcorn for this, bro. But he's, he, he don't want me to bring out the popcorn for this. I, I said, well, I said, I ain't buying the game. You know what I'm saying? No Kojima, no money. Listen, what we're going to oh. do is we're going to dive into the announcement trailer and see what these lot have got for us. What this Kojima less Metal Gear has, <laughs> has got for us. Let's dive in, bro. I'm rolling the dice. <laughs> I'm just gonna 2028. I'm rolling the dice. I put 2028 on that it. Gives man. You what, three years four and... years, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. Four years. <laughs> four years. I'm expecting this two, three years after GTA 6. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Listen, bruv. 
For me, listen, you might only know my feelings. Listen, when it comes to these gaming showcases, I feel like there should be rules. Only show games that are coming out this year or the next year. Uh-huh. Anything past that, yo, when's your game come? Oh, two years from now. You're not on the slate, bruv. That's what I think, innit? But who am I? I'm just a guy who's one third of the cyber nerds <laughs> who makes videos on the YouTube channel. You get me? But I think in terms of expectations, studio, what studi- the pressure studios put on themselves mm-hmm. and that just what the gaming industry needs, I feel like we shouldn't be always talking about games that are coming out five years from now. Do you get what I'm saying? This looks cold, but at the same time, it's what? A cinematic announcement trailer yeah. with no release date. Yeah. How excited do you want man to get? I'm really excited to be honest. Exactly. I'm guessed that Metal Gear Solid is back, but at the same time, I want gameplay footage. I want to know what's going on and all of that. T- chat to man. No, now that you're saying, maybe this isn't for us. What do you mean? Maybe Konami and their stock price is going up. So you're like, oh crap, let's just say we've got a product coming out. You know what I'm saying? That little notch on the, the point market. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your I feel like your your loyalty k- to Kojima is now infinite. No, no, no. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean this ain't coming out? No, it's coming out, but it's like it's for the investors. This ain't for us. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I I hear that. Because like I, I'll still I still buy Konami products, like I said. But when it comes to Metal Gear, what I've heard, I'm like, nah, I just, just don't touch it no more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. No, I hear that, brother. And and the thing is, in in terms of even the whole Konami situation, I. Th- it's, Met, it's Metal Gear. For me, it's Metal Gear. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's I like, when I, and when I think about it, it's like, yo, Metal Gear is one of those games that it's like, I think the gaming industry is missing Metal Gear. And when I say Metal Gear, I'm talking about tactical espionage shooters. You know, mm-hmm. listen, when it comes to break, like to, to games like this, mm-hmm. I'm all over Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I feel like this and I feel like Splinter Cell are games that we haven't had for a long time. And I think that the game needs them. And I even think that the last Metal Gears were kind of spinning away mm. from what they kind of should have been. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping that this is almost more of a mixture of the original Metal Gear Solid game that we got mm. and more, like, just leading more into to open world espionage. Do you know what I'm saying? And away from, I don't know, what they was doing in the last kind of games. Oh, no, then saying? you don't want open world then. I do want open world. They did the sandbox thing. Mm-hmm. Where it's yeah. like, I, that was weird where you're coming and you're... A, you're taking things away and it's going to a base somewhere mm-hmm. else. Bruv, I just want to land mm-hmm. in the open world, mm. attack it any way I want, and then keep it moving like that, linearly as mm-hmm. well, bruv. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that's one of the things that we need to keep with Metal Gear. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm going to ask you what you want to keep, but you don't want to keep any of it. You don't want nothing. I want Kojima, bruv. I mean, it means like, it's, like, for me, obviously, like, I feel like it's hard here because every time a Metal Gear came out, I feel like it always got better. So three is one of the best ones. It's be- for me. It's, it is better than one because obviously when you play one now, I'm not saying it's dead, but it's not. I mean, it's fine to be it, dead now because that game came out in what ninety seven or something. It was like the first one. So yeah, but I'm talking. So it was like nostalgia. When we talk back about the first one, I would more so talk about the one that came out on GameCube. Oh, you mean Twin Snakes? Yeah, mm-hmm. because it's like it's a remake of the first one, but mm. it was more like suit yeah. up to what we was and, the, and uh, first person for you can move and all that kind of stuff that's the kind of thing that I would I would <clears> want <throat> and expect in this as well do you know what I'm saying like this has all of that that's what I'm saying but like, here for me it's just going to be just maybe I don't know what else they can add apart from updated graphics like they're going to have the whole that's you enough. see huh I mean that's enough that, is that, that's Graf- what I'm updated graphics the snake is enough maybe they're going to even up the, the ante on the wildlife because obviously 100% you, bigger you, wildlife bigger maps yeah. I've, I've been expecting it to be the same game but bigger larger and everything bro. Mm. 100% uh, then no that then I don't could, could not be doing that you, so what, what game did they take this one from the third this the, the third, third Metal Gear the third Metal Gear Solid game which chronologically is the first Metal Gear Solid okay. game so it's Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and then Snake Eater. Snake Eater is, happens before the first two games. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so what I would say yeah, is, this is, this is almost setting up a brand new trilogy of games. That's right. what I would imagine. Right. Yeah, because it, it goes from here, and then it goes into the PSP ones, isn't it? For yeah. Peace yes. Walker. Peace Walker, and then, then another one. This, yes. It was two, two, two PSP, two PSP yeah. games, mm-hmm. and then we get to the another first one. Metal Gear yes. Solid game, and then the second one, mm, okay. and do you know what I'm saying? And then the fourth one, mm. and then this is there. So I think I touched, I started first with the fourth one. Mm-hmm. Right. That, that was my introduction. Mm. Right. Then I went on to the PSP ones. Yeah. And that's 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 what I like. So that's three games for me on, on Metal Gear. This is going to be a good place for you to start off with, man. 
Listen, ladies and gentlemen, jump into the comment section below and let us know what you're thinking about Metal Gear Solid, Delta, Snake Eater, your predicted release dates. I'm going with 2028. What are you man going with? I'm going to just go 20, uh, 2024. Next year? Yeah, bro. You think Konami cares? They're not bringing this. They ain't even got, they can't do it next year. They can. Well, they've got this. Yeah. Nah. And then you think a year from now they're going to have the full game. Uh -huh, yeah, no bro. way. I don't believe it. I'm going 26. 26. 26. Boom. I'm with it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, jump in the comment section below and let us know what year you think this game's coming out. Let us know. You get me? Are you a 24? Are you 26? Or are you 28? Also, let us also know what your favourite Metal Gear Solid game is. Other than that, I'm J1 Further the Cyber Nerds. I'm your GS. Sam, Mr. Blister. And we'll see you on the same channel for some more of the. PlayStation Showcase. Peace. Oh, oh.